I never got the chance to try Unity. I hear it's great and got a lot of community content. Yeah, that's probably the biggest thing that Godot is missing and that people in the community are trying to fill that gap. Uh, you know, we're making templates, we're making tutorials just to try and build it up. But yeah, Unity does have have, have that over over Godot without without even argument, right? Like their, their store, they've got so much free resources. You can't compete with that. Not yet, at least. You know, once Godot does get a, a proper store, I think that will be the final nail in the coffin because like people will just port all of their free stuff over. Like a lot of stuff that's in the Unity store is not specific to Unity. It's like 3D assets that could be listed on the Godot store tomorrow, right? Once that comes out, I think we'll see another wave of changeover. And as time goes on, it'll just become a, like a more attractive offering for independent game makers. And, and obviously you'll still have like commercial use, like people who want support and those kind of things. That's probably the next step. Once they get the store up, maybe they can look at like a commercial offering for bigger companies that do want that support through that company that they set up. I forget its name. You know, hopefully this, is, this trend will continue. It'll be interesting to see, like the real test is like how long is it going to keep going or is it just like a spike in interest? You know, how much do we retain? Because I think if we can retain these numbers, then there's really no stopping us. It's just going to be like Blender. Where when Blender, uh, was it three or four? Two. I forget the, the version that came out and it just like blew everything out of the water and it was just so much better. As someone experienced in Unreal, Unity and Godot, how far behind is the asset library? Um, I guess, I, I, I mean, I wouldn't categorize myself as experienced with Unreal or Unity, but I have like dabbled around in them before moving over to Godot. I've never made a game in Unity or Unreal, but I have looked, I've looked at listing things on the store, right, for Unity. And at least from like the cursory glance that I took, I think it was a couple of months ago, like we're talking miles ahead. Like there's actual legitimate companies that exist on the Unity on, on Unreal asset stores, right? Like there's entire, um, there's an entire economic ecosystem. Like there's businesses that have cropped up around that platform that do, like don't exist on the asset library, right? Because you can't, it's open source. You can't charge money on the asset library, right? There's no reason for them to list that. So it's just the free stuff that gets there. Yeah, it's a marketplace. And so like, that's really powerful and it brings in commercial stuff and that level of professionalism you just won't find in Godot. And so, you know, you're sort of stuck with that. Uh, not that any, there's anything wrong with um, the open source free stuff. It just means there's going to be less stuff and the quality is going to be potentially lower. And on top of that, you, like people looking for support for those products, they're, gonna, they're not going to get that, right? Not going to get the same level of support that you might get if you bought like a professional, professionally made um, asset on the Unity Marketplace or the Unreal uh, Library. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I've forgotten. But yeah, you know, like they, they're completely, completely, like Godot is very far behind in that. Like it doesn't even exist. The asset library is not the same. Like it's not even comparable. Like I don't, I don't actually even know what kind of sorting they do. Recently updated, license, least recently updated. So there's not even like a, a popularity kind of thing. There's no algorithm here. It's just like whatever's the most recent it shows up. And there's also keyword issues, at least in my experience. For mine, it's, uh, I think I, I ha you have to type in first person, right? First person, because that's how I've called it. Right. It'll show up if you type first person. Um, but if you type FPS, it's just not going to be there. Right. They should create a separate library where people can sell stuff. Yeah, I think that's what they'll do. They'll they'll need to separate it because it because Godot is uh, open source, because Godot is not for profit, they'll need to be something else. And I don't know how that will tie in. And it's probably why they've taken so long to do it. Like I know they want to but it's complicated with the way that it's set up. And I'm just not sure. I'm, I'm like, I don't know much about like how open source and that kind of profitability sort of ties in. Something like Blender Market, yeah, for sure. But like that doesn't integrate. I think integration is probably gonna be key here. I don't know. 
Is there like I've never seen Blender Marketplace. I, I don't even go Blender Market. I've heard of it. Is it run by Blender Foundation though? That's the key thing because people have tried to launch asset stores in the past. I think uh, Stay at Home Dev. He's pretty big, right? There's 30,000 subscribers on YouTube. That's big for Godot. He tried to launch one. I don't think it was that successful. I listed my stuff on there. I think I made two sales. Founded by CG Cookie. Okay, so it's the same kind of story because he's a, he's, a, he's a YouTube guy, right? Yeah, CG Cookie is a YouTuber, yeah. Blender Market is independent. Yeah, yeah, right? So like that Blender doesn't have, I don't think they have like a sanctioned marketplace. So they're in the same kind of issue where they're open source and it's hard to like create a store around that. I don't know if they even want to though. That might be different. It's something that people have come to expect from a game engine. It's not necessarily something that people come to expect from... I mean, I don't know. I've never used a commercial... Actually, that's not true. I have used commercial 3D modeling software, but not in the last 15 years. You know, like when I was in high school taking uh, graphics as a course, as a class, yeah, we were using Autodesk, I think. Um, but I don't remember them being there being a store, but also it was the student edition, so I don't actually know. Yeah, so there's a lot of, uh, I think, gaps that Godot needs to fill before it can fully dominate the indie market, but it's getting really close. A few more years, I think there will be not a lot left to, to for it. Like, you know, it's just gonna be the choice for people that are doing it on their own, right? It's just, the, the thing for me, like these days is the, the the lightness, like Unity and Unreal are like quite heavy pieces of software, which I don't like. Can I expect a better asset lib of Godot in the future though? It's something that's been spoken about in the Godot community. I think we all want it. It's something that everyone wants. It's something they're working towards, but I wouldn't count on it anytime soon. Right? Like you, you just can't make decisions about the future based, you know, like on a wish essentially. People are, people know that it's been worked on, which is why we talk about it. It's why like when everyone, when anyone brings up the Unity versus Godot versus Unreal conversation, a big part of what Godot is lacking is something in the asset library, uh, something more commercial, something like with more offering. It's just not there. And I, 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 I don't know, I wouldn't count on it probably before the end of Godot 4, you know, maybe in the next two, three years. I, I'm honestly not too sure. I rem when I in in 2020 20, 20, when I started seriously using Godot, people were talking about that. To give you an idea, right? I started using it, and I and my goal was to be able to start like knowing how to use the engine because I thought it was going to become a big deal. I mean, it's been a year. Like if we think about um, Unity, it was Unity. Uh, it was this time last year. I think it was in September, right? where they announced their change in terms of service, they've rolled that all back now. So, you know, like the, the, those issues around it have rolled back, but I think the trust has been lost, right? They know that they have the motivation to change their terms of service and have it retroactively affect people's business. You know, if you published a game two years ago and it was successful, they might just go ahead and change the terms of service on you. No one wants that, right? So the trust has been lost.